That's Paige. Uh, today's video staff meeting, and basically you're going to see me just for a bit, as you can see on the uh, web page, um, we got five videos for the staff meeting. The first one is an intro that I did. The next one is the talk about the intro, why we do what we do. Um, that next one is a level one class that I ran. And then the last one for the staff meeting, the last of the five, is um, talking about how we ran the class and why we ran it that way. Uh, real quick though, I do want to talk about uh, other locations. People are asking me, uh, I've had three or four people asking the last couple of months about moving to a, be a bigger building, uh, moving into a strip mall, uh, instead of, you know, the warehouse that they're in. And I will absolutely let you know, my opinion is almost always stay where you're at, unless you can get a better rent, um, unless you are truly got such a small space that it's limiting you and you're going to lose money, you know, you can only sign so many. Uh, but you'd be surprised how many you can shove into your place. Um, I know when I first went out to LA, they had 1,500 members, and they had two training rooms that were smaller than any of my affiliates' training rooms that I've seen. Uh, they would shove 80 and 90 people in there, do the demo, and everybody would go outside, and then they'd come back in and watch the next demo. It was crazy. But what really got me, when I first opened Ohio Crowd My Guy, and it was growing like crazy, I thought, you know, we had 6,000 square feet, but in my head, oh, we need bigger. We were looking at grocery stores, abandoned grocery stores with 10,000 square feet. Fortunately for me, I went up and took a trip to Ann Arbor. Up there was, at the time, the biggest kids' taekwondo program in the nation. They had over 1,500 uh, kids in their taekwondo program. So I'm going up there expecting to see the Taj Mahal and all this fancy... It was in the basement of an old building. It wasn't that big. Uh, they trained on carpet, dirty carpet. The uh, parents were watching by sitting in those plastic white lawn chairs. The bathroom, you had to go across the training floor to get to it. It was just bizarre, and it, you know, it dawned on me, it's not the building, it's not how fancy, how nice. If you're teaching quality stuff, and your marketing is good, uh, they'll come to you. Now, I almost always am asked, uh, someone starting a gym, hey, should I look for a strip mall or a warehouse? Warehouse, it's a heck of a lot cheaper. Here's my thought, a strip mall, you would be there for the drop-ins, uh, for the people going by, they see you. Basically, that's called advertising. So if I can spend... 2000 in a, in a warehouse and 3500 for the same space in a strip mall, I would much rather go for the 2000 in the warehouse and spend that $1,500 a month on advertising. That difference in the rent, spend it on advertising. That way it's not just advertising to the people that are going by. You can advertise in your whole community. Um, you can target. I mean, truly, uh, USKMA's got a uh, commercial made up. We'll drop your graphic, graphics in it for, uh, I think it's 395 bucks. If you would spend $1,500 a month on television advertising, that would be worth a lot more than just the visibility. Um, you can target advertising. Like your TV, you would absolutely want to be on the channels that are the top rated for males 18 to 35. That's our first group we go after. The next one's females 18 to 35. So absolutely, a warehouse to me, the cheapest rent, um, the better. Uh, anytime you move to another place, uh, you're going to lose a percentage of people. It, even if it's just down the road, you're going to lose a percentage. Um, I've read formulas. I mean, if you're moving a distance, you know, three, four, five miles away, you can lose up to 40% of your members. Uh, you got to take that into consideration. Can I take that dive in what I'm bringing in and will it eventually build up way past that so it's worth the move? Um, but truly, uh, I'm always a big believer in um, garage looking places. Again, that's why this is such a cool business. If you opened up a Gold's Gym, you'd have to have a great location million dollar overhead, all this nice equipment. We've got a garage with some focus mitts and some hanging bags and some kick shields. Uh, we like that look, the bare bones look. It, it sells. I mean, we brag about, hey, nothing fancy here. Let's just come in. Um, so absolutely, you, you want your warehouses. Um, most of our gyms, we always try to be kind of close to a, a highway exit, but that's not even important. They're going to find you. You're teaching Krav Maga and you're teaching good Krav Maga. We had people driving up from Cincinnati and Dayton uh, to take classes with us. They try and come up once or twice a week. So it's not like a Taekwondo school where you're drawing just in that area or a karate or whatever you're teaching. Um, there's one on every corner. I mean, a good crowd gym, they're hard to find. You could well be the only one in your, in your city. So people will drive for that. Just give them good directions. Uh, but anyhow, to recap, um, I'm almost always a believer in stay where you're at. I mean, uh, right now, Brandon down in Florida is doing a beautiful thing. He was thinking about uh, moving. He said, you know what? I've got so much room here that I'm wasting. They're taking out walls, getting rid of offices and things like that. They're going to probably increase their, their training area by almost double. 
you know, just by looking at it that way, keeping that same low rent. Um, a lot of us, we also eventually have the chance to get the space next to ours. I know a few of my affiliates are doing that right now. Oh, heck yeah, if they'll give you a deal. And truly, it's a buyer's market, so you can pretty much tell them what you want to give them for it. Uh, and I know um, David Inman in Vegas, he's got a, a pretty decent area, but his kickboxing was growing like crazy. He's got a lot of adults. His uh, kickboxing, his crab, um, all these things were really shoving in for the space for his, his kids' classes. So what he did was he, he uh, got a space in the same place he's at, but it's across the parking lot. So truly, that's kind of cool. The adults are going over to this one, and the kids are going over to this one, and they don't really cross paths. That, that was a good idea as well. Um, and again, anyone that's looking at leases, I've signed, good gosh, probably 15 of them in my lifetime. If you want to shoot that to me, I'll look it over and tell you the things that I would ask for or I would want to see changed. Um, hit me up with any questions about any of that. And really watch. I want to make sure we're all on the same page running our intros and our classes and, you know, the thoughts behind everything. So watch the next bunch of videos. we got, uh, again, five of them total for the staff meeting. Take care.